Hello players, this is Whiskos Plays, and today I'm going to upload a how-to video on how to build mines in Minecraft. So, we're going to start with a 3x3 three three tunnel going back a few blocks. It doesn't matter how many blocks. Um, this will be an, the entrance to your mine. You can make it larger, you can make it smaller. It's all your choice. Now, the blocks we're going to need to get are some fencing and some oak wood stairs with some oak wood slabs. We'll just test with these slabs. Here, we're going to put fences like this against the wall. As you can see, it adds this sort of connection to the stone, which gives it a good look. And then we have the two stairs upside down, and then oak wood slab. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's a moderate entrance to a mine. I mean, I could do better than this by getting some oak wood. Maybe something a bit better. Something that bulges out like this. Maybe. Maybe. We could have these connecting up here. And here. How does that look? Ooh, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look... All right. So, now that we're in our mine, we will need to make a few changes to this whole design if we're inside. Because we will need some stability, which means we will need to put some random pillars everywhere. And by the way, um, this mine doesn't have to be like a perfect square, because you can never have a perfect square when you're building stuff like this. You have to have it sort of cave looking because it's a mine okay so if you have an ore deposit the best thing to do is to have a sort of hole dug here like there's are they have already been mining some of these ores I uh, might want to put a torch anywhere just put torches where you feel you should so like they started mining here and then maybe Close to that, we could have a cart over. So basically, what I'm gonna go with this design is, I do need some stone because I'm gonna mine into the wall a bit. But for this design, you can just use a slab and a few trap doors with a fence gate. That's what I need. Okay. So just place a uh, oakwood slab and start placing some trap doors around, and then a fence gate plug that into there. The problem this creates is that that connects to the yep, fence gate, so I need to place this block over. Yeah. See, and this is where you can keep your coal deposits, put it in there, and then take it out of the mine. The mine doesn't initially have to be just a straight mine. It can turn a bit, because right here is actually the other side of the hill. So, let's make it a bit more cavernous, because some ca some caves are just cavernous like this. Okay, so I continued on this kind of 3x3 three three design with the cave. And I kind of made a little thing here where it's like, you know, we're going to blow up the TNT with the redstone tr signal to the TNT. Just an example of blast mining in Minecraft. Um, the mine is going to continue downwards, I think. So, we're going to go here. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to make this basically a ladder leading down to the more important ores that people are, are needing, like gold and diamond. Ooh, that looks nice. Alright, so we'll move down in here. And obviously, it's pretty dark. And then we will have this. So I don't know. I didn't. I don't know why I had to mine down that far if I was only going to do this steep. But down here is going to be where all the important ores are, and also the desk for the the miner in charge. So let me just place down that. So this part's not going to be too large. This mine isn't going to be large at all. It's just a how to of how to build your own mine, what blocks to use, 
what kind of designs in the wall to use. And that's basically it. So I think we'll have not that not that diagonal. We'll have a sort of diagonal design or just a curved design in the wall. And then just place some struts everywhere to hold up the ceiling. And there we go. Then what we do is we're going to add stone. And some of these, I think I'm going to replace these dirt blocks with stone. Just plainly because it'll, it'll look better. So... That's pretty good. That's good. That's good. Alright. So then we'll have this go down about a block there. Just to add like the whole cave detail. You know, caves aren't al don't always have a flat floor. If you've ever been in a cave or a cavern, you'd notice that. Okay. So just replace all your dirt with this. And it will look a lot cleaner. But we're not done yet because we still have to put in the ores. So we'll have this ladder kind of suspended. I don't know, that looks better to me. Okay, so next we'll put in another torch here, and we'll start placing in our ores. It's not gonna be. It's I'm not putting too much light in here. It's just gonna set the mood for like how dark it is underground. But we're gonna have some diamonds here. Two blocks because diamonds are extremely rare. Two blocks of gold. One block of gold. And a deposit of iron, just because we can. Usually you, you could find coal more easily, but, you know, this is an iron mine, I guess. Alright, as for the desk goes, I think I'll put it right here by the diamond. Sure, why not? So this cave isn't, or this mine isn't supposed to be a modern mine. <coughs> You probably could tell. It's some sort of mine from the early 20th century, probably. Okay, so we'll have a cup here, and we'll have something resembling a stack of papers. There we go. So that's basically it for this part of the mine. If you want to do a minecart system, I will show you that. So here we go. We'll need to see some rails and a minecart with chests because everyone uses just a minecart but really you have to deliver the ores to the top of the mine so why do you need to carry them while riding in a minecart it just doesn't make sense there we go and then we'll have the minecarts somewhere like somewhere along these rails there we go that just uh, signifies that there's a storage here. And then if you want to have a stopper for this, just plainly use some stone. And we don't need to show that that lapis. It's fine. Just use the rock to stop it. Except for here, where you'll just need to use your imagination. So there we go. That's basically a mine in Minecraft. That's just my how-to of it. There, you could build, you could build it larger. You could build it smaller. It's just how I built it for this video. So let's move on. What I'm going to show you is how to build your own custom tree. So we have these trees, which are the Minecraft-generated trees. Some of them are better than others. Then we have the Oh, these are the oak trees and the birch trees. Birch trees are usually taller than oak trees. 75% of the time. Here are some spruce trees. As you can see, very sprucey. And there's not... Oh, there's a jungle tree. Jung jungle over here. As you can see, jungle trees are just larger versions of all the other trees, but with different material. So what we're going to do 
So we're going to build our own custom tree using oak wood, starting out with oak wood, and oak leaves. Okay, so if you want to build a good tree, you have to start with the trunk, and then you add the roots. I know, I know it sounds odd, but that's how I build my trees. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make a random s design sprouting out of the ground. It doesn't have to be straight either. It can lean a bit. And if you want to have it perfectly straight, you can do that. You can do that just fine. I, I, I tend to like it perfectly straight myself. There we go. Um, we build up on this a bit more. Looks good. Now, it's not going to look perfect in the beginning. I'm not here for perfection. So, as you can see, it's leaning a bit, which gives a nice feel to it. And then we place these blocks in the ground here for the roots. Now, it, it doesn't always have to be in the ground, but since they're roots, they kind of go underground. If you... <laughs> I know, I know. If you know what roots are, you probably all do. So then, we move these blocks, or we add these blocks here. Just gonna come up with a random root design. Doesn't have to be, you know, just like mine. Yeah, it can be your way. This is similar, like how do this isn't really like a how to. It's more like a how. It's just like a how to. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. So let me just add these other this last root. There we go. Okay. So doesn't look perfect. Doesn't look perfect. But we're gonna add branches next. The leaves come last. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go crazy out. Not too crazy though. With some branches. So, just add them coming out the top of the oak tree, or whatever tree you're building. Um, let's go with th three? No, let's go with four. Alright, so... Next, we're going to add some leaves. So, the leaves can just be a random, as random as you want them to. But what I like doing first of all, is placing them around the branches. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so after you've wrapped the leaves around the law, uh, the uh, blo other blocks, the wood blocks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start building a sort a sort of ring around this. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can, you, but I I suggest filling these blocks in because usually trees are just these uh, trees in Minecraft are just full leaves on the top. Uh, well, big trees. Not really small trees, but large trees like this. Okay, so I filled in all those blocks. It doesn't look perfect. Again, looks a bit blocky at some parts. But really, it takes time to build a tree like this. And I didn't have much time to build it for you guys. But, this is the best I could come up with in a five minute period. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember that subscribing is fun, and I hope to have 20 subscribers by somewhere in June. Plan to have 20 subs by somewhere in June, so please subscribe. I need all the help that I can get for subscribers. But please leave comments if you want some more how-tos. I will give you some if you leave a like 
So please comment, rate, and subscribe.